In today's video, we're going to talk about automated accessibility testing in Selenium C Sharp. So accessibility in web pages is a crucial aspect of web development that ensures your site can be used by everyone, including people with disabilities. Implementing accessibility practices improves the user's overall experience and can also enhance SEO. Web Content Accessibility Guidelines, in short, WCAG, these guidelines provide a set of criteria and success criteria for making web content more accessible. AXE is a popular accessibility testing tool that automates the process of identifying and reporting accessibility issues on web pages. Performing an AXE accessibility test using Selenium WebDriver in C Sharp involves the following steps. So first, we're going to have to install the package for Selenium AXE. We're going to have to use Selenium AXE, and you can do that by first calling iWebDriver driver equals new Chrome driver. So creating a Chrome driver instance as we've done pre as we've always done. And next, what you do is you have to create an axe result instance by using new axe builder dot analyze right here and specifying the path for the axe report as well as um, creating the axe report afterwards. So now I'm going to show you how you can implement this in your own code. So first, before you do anything, you have to install the package for Selenium Max. So if under your project, you see under packages here, I have selenium.ax right here. And in order to uh, install that package, what you have to do is you have to go to uh, right here, go to tools, you go to NuGet package manager, manage NuGet packages for solution. You click that. And then you can search up Selenium Axe. So, so once you search that up, you see the first one you have right here is the one that you have to install. So go ahead and click it. And then you can install it by using the steps here. So I already have it installed, so I don't have to do it. But you would just click that right here. And you would just click install right here. But I already have it installed, so I don't have to do anything. So... Right here, I'm just gonna give you an overview of what we have right here. So right now in this project, we have some page object model uh, classes that we made from before. And right now, what we're going to do is we're gonna add the accessibility testing directly into this project. Now, if these, if these classes weren't here, this project would still run as, uh, as it needs to because this uh, new Axe test class that we make, it doesn't depend on the previous classes. But I just added into this project, so this project is more functional. So I'm going to open up the class that we made. And note that in this class, we just put it under the whole project directory. It's not in a particular uh, folder like pages and reports, but it's just under the whole project directory. And we named it axe test underscore chrome. So this is what we have here. We named it underscore chrome because we're using the chrome web driver. So this is our code for the axe test. And Notice that since we're using the package for Axe Selenium Axe, we have to import it using the using statement up here. So using Selenium Axe right up here. And this is what we have. So this is just a quick overview. It's very short and very simple. Using running Axe tests are very easy. Um, so the first thing we have is we have um, this statement right here where we set up the driver that we use. So we use iWeb driver and then we uh, specify driver. And then the next thing we have is that we have this setup. So the setup, what the setup does is it basically sets up our driver. So we state that the driver is equal to a new Chrome driver. And in our case, we're using a Chrome driver because uh, we want to use Chrome in this package, uh, in this right here. And after that, we use driver.manage.window.maximize so that when we're running the test, it always maximizes the window in the driver, in the Chrome driver. So after that, we have two separate different methods. So the first one is axe test golf and the second one is axe test home. And we see that in these test methods we have the tag test up here. And in the setup method we have the tag setup. And so first I'm going to go through axe test golf. And so in this first method, basically what we're doing is we're running accessibility tests on golf underscore URL. And the second test we're running accessibility tests 
on home the underscore URL. And for these underscore URLs, these parameters are specified in our dot run settings, and they can be directly accessed by using the test context dot parameters uh, call right here. And so I'm going to go through this first one right here. So under ax test underscore golf, the first thing that we do is we use the dot navigate statement and then we specify the URL that we'll go to. So in this case, we're going to the golf URL. And so we go to the golf page. And after that, what we do is we use the ax package itself now. And to do that, what we do is we use the dot analyze right here. So we specify a new instance for ax builder and then we use dot analyze to analyze the web page that we have. And after that, uh, what we do is we're going to specify where the report goes. So first we have the directory right here, and then afterwards we have the name of the file. Note that we're using .html, so our file will be an HTML file. And once that's all set up, we can use the simple command of create axe HTML report, and this will create the report uh, for axe result up here into the path that we specified. And so this same thing is repeated down here for the home uh, method, but instead in the home method, the only difference is we're using home underscore URL right here. And so the same thing, we go to this URL, we create an instance for Axe Builder and we use the analyze, and then we specify the path and then we create the HTML report. Now, once all of that is done, we have the teardown uh, method. And what the teardown method does is it just closes the driver. So now I'm gonna go ahead and run this and show you what happens. So I'm gonna go ahead and run the first one, which is Axe Home. So I'm gonna run Axe Home first. So I'll click on Axe Home, I'll right click, and I'll click Run Test. So we see it goes to the home page for our website, which is admlucid.com, and then it closes the home page, and then it finishes running. And so that is finished running. And now what we can do, I'm gonna go ahead and close this, is we can go to the directory that we specified where the report is. So we can go ahead and go to here. So this is a directory, it's dash reports. So in here we can actually see dash reports and then axe report home. I'll go ahead and double click it and it opens up this axe report. So right here we have an image, so a screenshot of our web page. And then we have some information about the web page. So we have that it's called admlucid.com. This is the size of the page. And then we have the time and some other stuff. Right here, we see uh, a few things. So first we see violations. So these are violations against the accessibility guide. And then we see some incomplete, so it didn't finish. We see pass and inapplicable. So the first we have here is violations. So if we look at the first violation we have here, it says images must have alternate text and then ensure image elements have alternate text or a rule of none or presentation. Uh, and then it will show us which one it is. So it'll tell us that it's for this logo right here. It doesn't, this logo up here in our web page, it doesn't have alternate text. And then it'll give us some suggestions on how we fix it. So it says fix at least one of the following issues. Element does not have an alt attribute. Arial label attribute does not exist or is empty, and it'll tell you to fix one of these. So these, there's 14 of these different violations right here. And uh, yeah, you can look through it on your own, uh, for your own website afterwards. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and skip through. So I'll go ahead and close this. And next is passes. It's because we didn't have any incomplete, so it doesn't have that section, but pass. So this is basically uh, the test that passed. So it says error rule should be appropriate for the element and that is the case for our test. So we go ahead and close this. Uh, and by the way, if any of this doesn't make sense, you should check out the Axe Accessibility Guide uh, and it'll tell you about basically what it's testing for. And then finally, this is the inapplicable. And inapplicable, like the name suggests, it's just we didn't test this in our case. So um, we weren't able to test these features on the website. And so it doesn't have any outcome for these tests. So access key attribute value should be unique. They weren't able to test that. Okay, so this is for the home page. I'm gonna go ahead and close this. I can run the same thing for the golf page. So go ahead and right click and I'll run test. And it's done running, so I'll go ahead and close this. And I'll open up the golf report 
And again, it's the same thing. So it has some information about the web page, a screenshot of the web page, and then it tells you the test. So in this one, we have 16 different violations, 300 pass, and 48 applicable. So these are different violations we have. Go ahead and close that. These are the different things that passed right here. So one for one, two for two. Go ahead and close that. And these are the ones that are inapplicable for this web page. And yeah, so that's how you can run an Axe accessibility test using C Sharp in Selenium, Selenium in C Sharp. And uh, it's very simple. Uh, we just showed you a very simple way of running it. If you found this video helpful, please give this video a like and subscribe to our channel and stay tuned for more videos. Thank you for listening.